President Obama's General Assembly speech was a plea to Palestinians to avoid a clash over statehood. He says seeking an immediate vote recognizing a sovereign Palestine will not deliver peace. Only direct talks with Israel can do that. And I am convinced that there is no shortcut to the end of a conflict that has endured for decades. Peace is hard work. Indeed, no shortcut was the theme running through Obama's meeting with Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu. Peace cannot be imposed on the parties. It's going to have to be negotiated. The attempt to shortcut this process, not negotiate a peace, that attempt to get a membership, a state membership in the United Nations uh, will not succeed. But Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas says his people's patience has run out. Talks are frozen, so it's time for action. A compromise call came from French President Nicolas Sarkozy, who proposed new talks leading to statehood in a year. But it's unclear if that's enough to avert a vote and a threatened American veto in the Security Council. For Obama, explaining the U.S. position to other leaders, the context is an Arab Spring that's ousted dictators and ignited hope for self-rule, plus the demise of Osama bin Laden and his hate-filled ideology. Something, Obama says, is stirring. The humiliating grip of corruption and tyranny is being pried open. Dictators are on notice. Technology is putting power into the hands of the people. But these Arab revolutions have also toppled and threatened U.S. allies, so they have been a huge challenge for American diplomacy. And as the dispute over Palestinian statehood makes clear, sometimes it's been a case of be careful what you wish for. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The United Nations.